Hello, hello everyone. My name is Meta Madam and I am here today to give you a beginner's look at Farmer's World, which is an NFT game on the WAX blockchain. If you're new to NFT gaming, it can be quite a concept to grasp, but I'm going to try to explain it in really easy to understand terms so that it can make more sense and you can get in on the action. So Farmer's World is on the WAX blockchain, which is a cryptocurrency network. Uh, in order to play the game, you will need to have a WAX wallet account, which is very easy to set up. I'm going to show you how to log in right now. Okay, so when you start, you go to allaccess.wax.io. This is the WAX cloud wallet uh, main network here. So what you're going to do to create an account is you can either start from scratch and sign up an account here and enter all of your information, or you can mm -hmm. sign up with your Facebook, Google, Twitter, whatever accounts you would like. In this case, I'm going to log in uh, for privacy reasons. I'm not going to mention how I do it. Okay, so once you get logged in, this is your main dashboard that you're going to see on your Wax Cloud Wallet. You won't really need to access this too frequently as you're playing the game, but there are a few key points I'm going to um, get into here to get started. So in order to get started and to even be able to log in, you need to have a little bit of wax, which you can purchase various ways by going under buy wax P so that you can stake that on CPU, net and RAM. These are three important components of operating on the WAX blockchain. Uh, CPU, net, and RAM are your resources for the game. So in order to get started and log in, uh, I recommend starting with putting five WAX on CPU. You hit stake. I do a couple on net. And one or two on RAM. Now, when you stake on CPU and net, you can always unstake at any time. Uh, let's say you decide the game isn't for you. You want to pull out of the game, get your wax back. You can unstake that. I have a separate video that I will do to show you um, how to unstake here. And then anything you put on RAM, you do not get back. That is, <clears throat> you're basically paying for RAM. So that is money that you are spending. So once you've got your, um, wax staked on these resources you can back out of the cloud wallet you shouldn't need to go in there um, for anything else besides to claim your rewards so if you're familiar with crypto staking that is essentially what you're doing with wax when you stake it you are earning rewards i will link to another video up in the corner about how to claim your wax rewards for staking uh, but that is aside from the Farmer's World game. Okay, so now that you have your WAX wallet set up, you will need to um, have a little bit of WAX to buy some tools and start investing in the game. Once you have WAX in your wallet, you would want to go over to Atomic Hub, make sure you are logged into your wallet, uh, and then go to the market and click on the Farmer's World collection. It should be the one at the top or very, you know, very close there to the top. And I recommend starting with a stone axe and a fishing rod. So to find the cheapest NFT, um, you're going to want to click on tools and go to the lowest price. And do not buy an ancient stone axe. In my opinion, it's just too long of a return on investment. It would take months at the current rates for you to recoup your investment. So it's just not, um, it's not a tool that I recommend starting with. So in order to get to the quality tool that you want to start with, update the durability to 100 here in the filter and make sure you're on lowest price. And that way you will see all of the available stone axes that you can purchase. These are NFTs. And so once you purchase them, they will end up in your wax wallet in your inventory. You can see it will appear in here. And then I also recommend starting with a food tool as well. The lowest one would be the fishing rod. Um, that would be the one I recommend starting with. So a stone axe and a fishing rod. Once you buy those NFTs on Atomic Hub, you can then go to Farmer's World. 
Their Medium account does have some good rate table information, but I do not find it very easy to read if you're just getting started. Um, so just read through that. And then if you have any questions, you can always ask those over in Discord, or you can even ask them in the comments below and I'll be happy to respond. Uh, but to get started, you click on play and earn and you pick an RPC endpoint, which is basically like a server on which you're going to play the game. Uh, so any of the top ones I recommend. Uh, Wax Sweden is a really good one. You log in with your Wax wallet account. And you can see the first screen it opens you up into is the chest. Uh, this is where it will show the NFTs that you've purchased. So in this case, I have a stone axe, a fishing rod, and um, I had a silver member card that was extra from my other account that I transferred over, but we won't get into that right now. Um, that's a little bit higher level than just beginner. So for now, we'll focus on the two tools that we just purchased in Atomic Hub. So in order to get these mining, you would want to click where. And when you click where, what that does is transfers the NFT from your Wax wallet into Farmer's World's wallet. So uh, don't be afraid of that. There, you can always pull that out um, at any time. So go ahead and click where to get your ax started and you approve the transfer. And I'm going to do the same on the fishing rod to pull it over into the game. Now, if you go to the home screen, this is your main mining screen for the food and wood tools. So you can see both of these um, are over in the Farmer's World Wax Wallet. To get them starting to mine, you want to click mine. And this will start an hour countdown clock until you can collect rewards. So once you click mine, it'll bring up the screen and tell you how many rewards you just earned. For the stone ax, the average is 1.7 wood tokens that you earn. Um, in this case, I got 1.6435, whatever. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less. So now this starts a countdown clock. In an hour, I can come back and I can click, this countdown button will turn into the word mine. I can click that and collect more rewards. So when you're starting out, you do have to click every hour uh, on any either of these tools. So let's get the fishing rod started. The fishing rod's reward rate is five food tokens. So the food goes up here. I had a little bit to start from another account. So disregard that. But what the food does is give you energy and you do need energy to use the wood tools or um, to do a farm plot, which is further down the line. So you can see right here, it says energy consumed five. So that means five of these little lightning bolt energies is what it costs every hour to run this tool. And then the reason you have the food is you can transfer the food over into energy. You can exchange it. So if I just got five food from the fishing rod, each food is worth five energy. So I can take that five food and exchange it and it will add 25 energy to my energy bank. And this is important to keep up because your tools cannot mine without energy. So now that those are going, I don't have to do anything for another hour. In an hour, I can come back, I can click mine again. So that's the basics of getting some tools started in the game. Um, the way you can maximize your time is by having um, things like, a member card, a membership. I do have some videos on exactly what a membership gives you, what the benefits are, uh, but essentially what it does is it allows you to have more time slots where you don't have to click every hour. If I add the silver membership, for example, bring that over into the game. Okay, so now this is running and what this does is gives me two extra slots for uh, tools. So instead of only being able to operate two tools, two wood tools at once, silver membership will allow me four tools that I could have mining at once. Now I don't have four tools on this account, but the space is there if I wanted to craft or buy more stone axes in the future. What it also does is 
stacks the number of slots that it can save before I have to click again. So in this case, adding a silver membership card now gives me three slots, which means I don't have to click every hour. I only have to come back and click every three hours. Now, had it been a bronze membership, uh, that would have been two. So, uh, you know, the, the better the membership you have, the more slots you have that it can save before you have to go back and click. So uh, with the food one, I don't have any member cards on food. This one was just for wood. And you can tell that by looking at the little icon in the middle. Um, this will be an easier way to look. So you can see this little, three little stacks of wood. If it was food, it would have had this little fish symbol in the middle. So since I only have a wood membership, um, I still have to come back every hour and click on the fishing rod in order to get those reward rates. Okay, and another benefit of having a membership card is they get to claim every 24 hours and you get farmer coins. Farmer coins can be used to craft more membership cards. So once you collect enough, once you collect 60 farmer coins, you can craft a bronze membership. If you save them up and get 120, you can craft a silver membership. So those are ways to kind of level up in the game um, by reinvesting your resources. Every time you craft a membership, it can be wood, food, or gold. The chances of getting food and gold are much less than getting wood. Uh, but if you end up with a member card you don't want, you can always sell it on Atomic Hub. So that's another way to earn income is to craft NFTs and sell those on Atomic Hub. Okay, so now that all three things are mining, I can essentially kind of check out until I have to come back in 55 minutes and click on the rod. Um, as far as crafting, if you go over here to Smithy, that's where you can see exactly how much it costs to craft each kind of tool or uh, farm plots or member cards. So all the information's there, you can play around with that. And then as far as the rewards go, uh, and the whole reason that you're mining is you're collecting these uh, resources within the game. The in-game resources are gold, wood, and food. Those correspond to tokens on a secondary marketplace. Uh, so you've got Farmer's World, food, farmer's world wood, and farmer's world gold tokens. So in order to pull the resources out of the game, you do need to go down to the exchange and uh, take a look at the fees because they vary from 5% to 8%. Um, and they change hourly throughout the day. So you really want to try not to have to pull out the resources until the fees at the lowest at 5%. Otherwise, you're just wasting resources that you've spent time collecting. So wait until it's 5%. Um, you can pull tokens out what I did initially to start was save up wood, pull it out into Farmer's World Wood tokens, and then I would swap it for gold tokens, which you can then deposit into the game as gold and use the gold to repair your tools. And that's just a great way to use the in-game resources without having to invest new money into the game. So in order to swap or sell the tokens on the marketplace, uh, we'll take a second we'll go over here to Alcor Exchange. You want to make sure that you are under the WAX mainnet, not any of the others. I think it, when you first go to it, I think it's on EOS mainnet. So make sure you're on WAX and then go to the markets. And you can see you've got Farmers World Wood, Farmers World Gold, and Farmers World Food tokens. Um, each of them is its own marketplace and they fluctuate, you know, according to the market. You can see you know, it, it varies from token to token, but right now uh, gold has actually overtaken wood, which is pretty crazy. When the game first got started, pretty much wood was like the holy grail of what you were going for. Uh, maybe things are changing. So you might want to uh, look into farm plots. I will have some videos on that, but as a beginner, uh, the best way to get started, I still think, is with the stone axe and the fishing rod. So once you have um, exchanged your wood and you've brought that over and turn it into Farmer's World wood tokens, you go on Alcor. And if you need gold, you don't have to sell the wood and buy gold. You can actually swap from the wood to the gold tokens. And it'll be in real time, you know, the value of them. So let's say you had 100 Farmer's World Wood, and you wanted to trade that for gold. So once you make that swap, and you know after you 
well, here we'll connect the wallet. And that's the beauty of, of you know, Web3. Your wallet connects across multiple platforms with just the click of a button. So it's super easy. You don't have to log into a million different websites. Okay, so once you entered, you know, it'll tell you how much wood tokens you have. We'll just pretend I had 100. That'll give me X amount of gold. So once I make that swap, if I go back over into Farmer's World and I go to deposit, that's where the gold tokens will show up. So then I would type in the gold tokens. It would swap. It would exchange it for gold in the game. I would hit deposit and I would have gold over here in my resources. And I would use that gold to repair my tools. So every time your tools are working, they're using durability. And in order to replenish that durability, which is right here, you would need to repair. So right now I don't have any gold. Um, I haven't accumulated enough wood to exchange for gold. So I'm not gonna do that process here. You can uh, track that in another one of my videos, but this is the basics of getting started in farmer's world. So your next question is obviously going to be, how much can I make? There is a super easy way to figure out what you're bringing in on your farm, and that is to go to this Farmer's World monitor here. And so what you do is you enter your WAX wallet address, you click add, and then you monitor that account. And what that will do is pull over the data from your tools and give you a daily profit average uh, based on what your tools are doing. So, um, you know, this is a quick and easy way to figure out what your profit's going to be from the current tools that you're running. If you have an ancient stone axe, this will not work. For some reason, it doesn't register an ancient stone axe, but I don't like those anyway. So I recommend just sticking, you know, with the lowest tool being the stone axe. So this is a good way to, to monitor your farm, especially as you add more tools, more membership cards, um, farming, anything like that. It will pull over the data and tell you what your daily profit is. So right now with my axe and my fishing rod, I'm making six wax a day, which is, let's see what the current wax price is. <clears throat> right now it's 0.3847. So six wax times 0.3847. Three eight four seven. So I'm making two dollars and thirty cents a day, just with my initial tools. So you can also use a spreadsheet, which I will link in the description, and play around with some numbers. Um, I highly recommend downloading a copy versus messing with the main copy that's online. So download your own copy, update the prices on the price tab, and play around and see what tools at the time are going to give you the most ROI. Um, it also tells you down here, you know, what the current rates are for things, you know, what it costs to craft it, what the daily return is. Uh, for some reason, a few things aren't updating. So I would highly recommend playing with the math yourself and making the choice that best fits your budget. Um, as always, this is not financial advice and you should not be playing with anything that you aren't willing to lose. Uh, this is a high risk, volatile market, um, especially with how things have been going lately. So make your own decisions, make the best decision for you. And if you have any questions on the gameplay, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for more Farmer's World updates and how-tos.